Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection is a simple mechanism to explain how complex creatures evolve from simpler ancestors. A challenge for scientists is to explain the evolution of specific complex organs like the brain, lungs and heart. At the beginning of the 20th century, biologists developed various models to account for the evolution of complex organs. These hypotheses all rely on the basic evolutionary mechanism of natural selection. Genetic variation arising from mutations is acted upon by natural selection to produce incremental improvements in organs and their component structures and functions. Over thousands or millions of years, genes of those individuals with the highest rates of survival and reproduction become dominant in the population. So genes that lead to improvement of an organ structure and function can eventually produce a complex organ. Because this mechanism is relatively simple, some people challenged scientists to explain how the eye evolved, given its complexity. However, in nature, several organisms have simple eye structures that are fully functional and evidently serve those creatures well. Some visual function is better than none at all. These structures are models for intermediate stages at different levels of complexity. The simplest eye-like structure is found in single-cell microbes that have ability to detect light with light-sensitive spots. This light sensitivity is improved slightly in some simple multicellular organisms that have flat patches of light-sensitive cells. These light-sensitive patches are thought to be the first stage in the evolution of a more complex eye. The next stage can be seen in flatworms. Flatworms have a small pit containing light-sensitive pigment. The pit allows the flatworm to detect the direction of a shadow of a predator. The nautilus is a marine mollusk. It has an optic cup in which the epithelium folds over to form a small hole, like a pinhole camera. This allows focusing of light onto the retina, increasing visual acuity. A snail's eye has a simple lens and structure complex enough to provide visual patterns that enable it to actively seek food or shelter. At a later stage of evolution, the eye of an octopus includes a highly developed lens with a complex focusing mechanism that sees as much detail as the human eye. Each evolutionary stage of the eye structure provided significant functional advantages. Each step in the evolution advanced through the modification of genes and the structures they produced, and natural selection acting upon the individuals with those traits. Another amazing outcome of evolution is the ability of animals to fly. Flying is so advantageous that it has evolved independently in insects and other animals like bats and birds. Like the eye, wings are also complex organs that evolved through intermediate forms. The fossil record, genetics, and embryology provide evidence for the evolution of wing structures. Today, scientists are further refining evolutionary theory to explain complex organs in a wide range of organisms. It's important to understand that natural selection has had the long history of life on Earth, around 3.5 billion years to test a countless variety of structures. This vastness of time has allowed for the evolution of amazingly complex organs in millions of animal species.